Hi friends, welcome to Yoga with Bex. Today's practice is asana for if you love balancing. Spinal safety awareness, there is no forward flexion or twisting in this practice. Without further ado, let's start standing on your mat with my favorite balancing pose, tree pose. We get nice and grounded through both feet. Stand tall, take a breath. Imagine your spine expanding, extending up. Find space in your spine. And for a tree, we're gonna balance on one foot. Let's start balancing on your right foot. Bend your left knee, get grounded on the right, standing tall. And you can find your tree position, which is either foot down low, heel touching your ankle, or foot pressing against your calf or against your thigh. Find what works for you today. Get a nice firm connection between your foot and leg. Standing up tall, knees out to the side, hands in namaste. Find a point of focus to hold your gaze and hold your balance. And when you're ready, arms up overhead. Maintain your focus and continue to breathe. Think of extending your spine, grounding through the supporting leg. Take one more deep breath. And bring your arms down, release your leg. We're coming into wind release pose. So you can keep that knee up, point that toe, grab a hold and hug your knee into your chest, standing up tall. Keep your hips relaxed. Point that toe and hold your balance. Again, focus your mind and continue to breathe. Excellent. We're going to open up to the side now. So I've got my left leg up. I'm going to bring my right hand to my waist. Open up the leg to the side. Still hugging it in nice and close, keeping that toe pointed. Standing up tall. Keep your mind focused. Take one more deep breath here. And then release your leg all the way down, standing on both feet again. Release your arms. Take a breath here in mountains, standing tall, firm feet. Close your eyes if you'd like, recenter yourself. And we'll switch to the other side. This time ground into your left foot, bend your right knee. Find the position that works for you for balance, whether it's touching the ground still, your calf or your thigh. Find the point of focus for your gaze. Stand up tall, strong connection through your foot and leg. And when you're ready, hands up overhead.
Think of your supporting leg as being rooted in the ground like a tree. And your upper body, gentle extension, standing tall. Keep your focus, excellent work. If you fall out, just come right back, take your time. Take one more deep breath. Bring your hands back down, release your leg. And you can come straight into wind release. So hug that knee in. Still strong through the supporting leg. Right knee is bent, toes pointed. Hips are relaxed. Hug that knee in, stand tall. Let's open up to the side, left hand to your waist, open up the leg, hug it a nice and tight, point that toe, standing tall still, and keep your focus. Just a little longer, standing up tall. Take one more deep breath. Excellent, lower that leg, release your arms, both feet firm on the ground. Find your center, relax your arms and stand tall in mountain. Take a few breaths here. I think your eyes open. We're gonna do Talasana now. So feet hip width apart in parallel, standing up tall. Interlace your fingers. We're going to rise up on our toes as we lift our arms up. So come up on your toes Lift your hands up, flip your hands up when you pass your face, press those palms up to the sky, and then gently come back down the way you came up, slowly lowering your heels the same time as your arms to come together at the bottom. Take a deep breath in, come up through those heels, up onto the balls of your feet, palms are coming up, pressing up to the sky, full extension, and then gently coming back down, nice and slow, hands and heels together. Beautiful. Breathe in, come up. And breathe out to come down. Arms and feet together. Breathe in to come up. And breathe out to come down. Excellent work. One more time, breathe in. Press those palms up, breathe out, gently coming down. Excellent. Let's do another version. Our arms are gonna come up on the side to touch palms at the top. So join with me. Take a deep breath in, rise up, arms up. 
and palms touch, breathe out to come down, heels and arms at the same time. Breathe in, rise up, palms touch and breathe out to come down. Excellent. Again, breathe in, rise up, full extension. We'll hold for one and two and three and breathe out, come down nice and slow. Beautiful. Keep your feet where they are. We're going to do a balancing version of chair. So take a deep breath in, arms coming up parallel to the ground, palms facing down. And then again, to breathe in, come up on your toes, extend through the spine. And now we're gonna come down by bending our knees. Keep your heels up, bend your knees, sitting down into a chair, an imaginary chair, keeping your torso forward open up through the shoulders, through the chest, and hold for one, and two, and three, come up, all the way up, and then lower your heels and arms down together. Beautiful. And one more time in chair pose, breathe in, come up onto the balls of your feet as you raise your arms up, Squat down, bend those knees, keep your heels up high as you sit down in your imaginary chair. Let's hold for one, and two, and three. Take a deep breath and as you come back up, release your arms, stand up tall, and then gently lower down your heels. Beautiful. Now let's move into warrior three. Come step to the front of your mat. We'll come through warrior one to get to warrior three. So open up with your right foot. Check that your heels are lined up. Your back foot is in 45 degrees. Front toes are facing, facing forward. Standing up tall, bend your front knee. Bring your arms up. Palms touching at the top. Press firmly into your feet. Look up at your hands. Strong legs here. Torso balanced over your hips. And for warrior three, start to lean forward. Lean out over your front leg, keeping length in your spine. Come down until your belly touches your thigh and then start to shift your weight forward, bringing your torso parallel to the ground, back leg when you're ready, you can pop off and also come parallel to the ground. Strong supporting leg, a bent knee is totally okay here. Look a little forward on your mat and hold for one. And two. And three. And then step back through warrior one. Excellent, release your arms. We're gonna come into half moon pose. So again, lean forward. You can bring your hands down onto the mat in front of you. So you might need a deep bend in your knee to touch. I've got my left foot forward, so my left hand is gonna come forward on the mat in front of me. I'm gonna pop my back leg off, lift that up parallel to the ground. I'm gonna open up my hip to the side, opening up. And then I'm gonna reach my right arm up to the sky, half moon pose. Point and extend through that leg that's up in the air. If you're comfortable here, you could look up at your top hand or look to the side. Strong supporting leg, beautiful. And then come back down, step back and come back up through warrior one. Beautiful, release your arms, come back feet together, stand tall, take a breath in mountain. Excellent work. And now we're gonna open up onto the left side, do the same thing. So standing at the front of your mat, open up with the left leg, step back, heels align, back toes in 45 degrees, 
straight back leg bent front knee arms up warrior one palms gently pressed together and then come forward lean your torso forward over your front leg touch belly to thigh and then start to shift your weight forward coming into warrior three find elongation through the body coming parallel to the ground strong supporting leg and hold for one and two beautiful and three and then step back come back to warrior one release your arms for half moon bring your weight forward again hands down in the ground in front of your right foot you want to keep your right hand down that one's going to get nice and supported close to your foot now lift your back leg up find that parallel to the ground again this time opening your hip up to the side turning out that leg excellent point that toe extend look forward on your mat and then bring your left arm up open up to the chest to the side as well beautiful and hold for one and two and three and come back down step back come up through warrior one and release your arms step back to the front of your mat join me in mountain and take a breath here you might want to close your eyes focus on how your body feels after those balances. Take a deep breath. Blink your eyes open if they were closed. Excellent work. We're gonna come into Malasana now. So step your feet wider than hip width apart. Toes are up 45 degrees. Hands in Namaste. Take a deep breath in. Open up through your chest. And breathe out, squat down, knees over your toes, coming down nice and deep, as deep as you can. Bring your elbows out in front of your knees to connect. Use that connection to hold the pose. Let your hips sink down, relax. And look forward, keep your focus and breathe. And we're going to come into crow balance here. So keep that knee and elbow connection strong and then open up your hands to face forward. Bring them down onto the floor in front of you. Fingers spread nice and wide. Your knees should already now be balanced on your elbows. Shift your weight forward a little bit. And just keep shifting your weight forward. Extend through your torso, long spine until so elbows are going to be pointed up to the sky. You're tilting your upper body a little forward. Keep extension in your spine until you feel ready to lift one foot off and the other foot off. Crow pose and hold and breathe. Don't worry if this takes a few tries to get. If you fall, you can come back. Take your time finding your balance. Take one more deep breath here. And then come back onto your feet. Beautiful. We're going to stay down. Release your hands. You can sit down onto the mat now. For a last finishing pose, just to relax the back, we're going to come into Thunderbolt. So we're going to come onto our knees. Sitting on our knees. Sitting on the heels but open up your heels a little bit behind you to the side a little bit. Try and sit right in between those heels. Sitting up tall. 
Knees are together. Rising up through your spine and your back is in neutral here. So just get comfy and relax and breathe. Thank you so much for joining me today in this practice. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment below if you liked it. Please share with a friend and come back and do it again. I will see you next time. Have a beautiful day.